there. Well, in Fallout 76 we're gonna have a whole bunch of new legendary mods. Beth already nerfed some of them, but they still haven't touched uh, Reflective. Yeah. Well, actually they have, but just changed the uh, visual effect I don't care about. The description says, return 10% of damage received from an enemy target back towards them. Up to 50% on full stack. Boy oh boy, I have a full stack of these uh, boys. So let's go freaking rip the face trend apart. By the way, they nerfed fracturers already, so it's three times weaker now. On my side, it's quite understandable, cause most of you would not get any XP during the radiation ramp for example, if someone will use it. Today we're gonna see if reflected damage has a chance to proc explosions, cause it's easier to cripple limbs now. But for the first fight, I'd rather go with encirclers. Uh, I have no idea if it's gonna work as well. There will be no testing at all. Just observation of how Bethesda is giving us insane stuff. When everyone gets it, of course, they will take it away. So we're gonna do encrypted. I just need to craft one particular keycard and it's uh, right here. Okie dokie. I think we are good to go. Wait, I wanna be more lucky. Let me show you my mutations. Adrenal reaction, bare bones, eagle eyes, egg head, herbivore, marsupial and speed demon. Here are my legendary perks, electric absorption and uh, specials. And my non-legendary perks. By the way, I have no ammo on me. 39 points will be enough, right? Well, well, since I have so much stuff that's gonna reflect damage back to my nemesis, I wonder if I can play as freaking pacifist. Why shoot them if they can do it way better than me? Bethesda gave you auto aim, everybody loved it, but still you need to press one button, just one button on your keyboard or controller or whatever you use to play this game. And then you need to press another button to shoot. So it's two button gameplay. Sounds a little bit complicated, right? So Beth came up with a wonderful idea. What if we can reflect all damage back to our nemesis? The imposter ship squash is vulnerable. Attack? Nah, there is no reason. Sadly, I can't be actually immortal here, since I'm under influence of electricity coming from those balloons. So, yep, sometimes I need few simpex. Senorita Imposta helps me as well. And eventually dies, because this stupid robot doesn't know that her beam of death actually heals me up. Now let's try over eaters and fracturers. To be honest, I think it was a little bit better than now. Enemies still die at some point, but it takes a while, so I've decided to use Pain Train to help me a little bit. As you probably know, Pain Train is a perk. And while I was trying to equip it, everyone just uh, died. By the way, it seems Fracturers doesn't work with reflected damage. Here's just one example, but I got a whole bunch of dudes with crippled lips. So yes, you can cripple them like this. In conclusion, I want to say that thanks to reflexive modification and uh, some perks, we don't need to actually use weapons anymore. Fun. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.